Gang, should we talk about what happened in Russia? Okay. Because once I start talking, I'm going to stop reading. I'm at the bottom of chat right now. Well, Xenomorph saying there's a lot to speculate against the terrorist attack. I don't know if there's a lot to speculate against the terrorist attack. There, there's a lot of facts that we have to look into, right? So let's talk about the terrorist attack in Russia, where four gunmen with a whole uh, backup crew just killed 130 plus Russians and wounded 130, 150 plus Russians and brought brought out the ire of Russia to a level that there's going to be a lot of people who are going to regret what just took place, right? Because Russia, their retaliation is going to be nice and quiet, and the odds are there's going to be a lot of people being taken out of the game in the next few days, weeks, months, years. They will come for you if you had a hand to play in this. And they will take you out, either publicly or anonymously, quietly. Right? If you had a hand to play in this, you reap what you sow. Okay. Now, let's talk about who might have been responsible for what took place. Right? One of the first signs you should know, uh, you should look at, is that the Western governments right away instantly came out and said, ISIS did it. We didn't, we didn't do it. Ukraine didn't do it. ISIS did it. Okay. Now, some people are saying they're lying. Now, you could take it that they're lying, that Ukraine and the West had a hand to play in this. Some people are saying, yeah, they're telling the truth. ISIS did it. Right? Take it whichever way you want. Because both of them, both of them is an admission that the Western world did it. United States, Israel, and the UK did it why do we say this because you have to look at who isis is isis is a cia mossad operation and you can go back in history 50 years to know that it is right go back to the late 1970s with the russia if some people call it invasion of afghanistan some people will say the afghan government ask because they did ask the russians to come and support them it was something a pot that was stirred by the cia by the united states to create a vietnam for russia you can look into the history of it i'm not going to go there right but during that time when russia militarily was involved in afghanistan the united states funded a fanatical religious regime coming out of Saudi Arabia called Wahhabism, right? At the time it was called Wahhabism. It morphed, evolved into what we call ISIS right now, multiple branches, right? So Wahhabism was coming out of uh, Saudi Arabia, right? Had a foothold in Afghanistan because they went there to fight the Russian invaders, they would call it. And the United States started funding, training, arming the Mujahideen in Afghanistan, right, to fight the Russians. And that was the birth of Al Qaeda, right, the base, Al Qaeda, right? And that's where ISIS comes from. Now, if you want to find out who was behind what took place in Russia, the Russian terrorist attack, realize this that the United States used ISIS in the 1980s to wage war against Russia. Okay. They used ISIS to have to conduct terrorist activities inside Iran. Okay. They used ISIS for a long time, Al Qaeda for a long time, right? Until Al Qaeda, the Taliban under the control of Taliban. Taliban and Al Qaeda two different factions, right? Al Qaeda had a base, had you know their not roots, but they had training facilities in Afghanistan, but Taliban took over Afghanistan in the 1990s, right? After Russia left. And there was all the warlords fought against each other, and Taliban won, and Taliban got control of most of Afghanistan. Al Qaeda was functioning under them to a certain degree, small faction under them, 
right? And Taliban, one thing they did was they reduced opium production now to zero in 2000 and 2001. Well, anybody that knows anything about uh, US CIA operations, covert operations, overt operations, and their funding, they know that a huge chunk of it comes from illegal drug smuggling. Read The Dark Alliance from Gary Webb that came out in late 1980s, early 1990s. He got assassinated because he put that shit out, right? So the Taliban comes in in Afghanistan and reduces opium production down to almost zero. The CIA, Mossad, CIA, Mossad, <laughs> Pentagon, go ape shit because their funding for all their operations is drying up. At the same time, Putin has gotten into power in Russia in the 1990s. So that gra gravy train that they had in Russia for 10 years, basically, all the way through the 90s, looting Russia like mad, so, uh, filtering all those funds through Wall Street and whatever was going on, right? People, fucking oligarchs, fund managers from New York were flying into Moscow on private jets, right? Going into Russian museums, buying priceless paintings for fucking pennies, pennies on the dollar, right? On the same day, taking those priceless paintings, putting them on their private planes, flying them to the United States. I know this because I had a family member that witnessed this, that was not involved in it, but involved in it, right? So that's what they were doing to Russia in the 1990s. Putin comes in. So two things, main things happened during that time. Putin got into power in Russia. Things started changing. Taliban was getting their foothold in Afghanistan. They already had their foothold in Afghanistan. They reduced drug opium production down to zero, trickled down, down to zero. 9-11 happens. Al-Qaeda does it, right? Al-Qaeda does it. The United States invades Afghanistan and Iraq because Al-Qaeda did it. Al-Qaeda, most of the members were Saudis, right? Saudis and look into the dancing Israelis, right? So something went on there. You can look into it. It doesn't matter how it happened, but it does matter who was involved, right? And why it happened, right? So United States goes into Afghanistan for 20 years there. There are trillions of dollars wasted. And Al-Qaeda at the time was estimated to be the total population of the Al-Qaeda terrorist organization was a few hundred people. Now, 20 years later, we're talking tens of thousands of people, right? Keep that in mind, tens of thousands of people. Now, during that 20 years, okay, ISIS, the evolution of Al-Qaeda, the birth, what the United States and Mossad and Israel gave birth to has done the following in the last 20 years. Turkey has used ISIS fighters to send them to Libya to annihilate Libya. Turkey has used ISIS fighters to wage war on Syria. Okay. ISIS has never attacked Israel. Israel has funded as well as provided medical services for ISIS fighters that were fighting against Syria. Israel, Turkey, and Azerbaijan have used ISIS fighters to commit genocide in Nagorno-Karabakh against Armenians. Okay. Turkey, um, Turkey, Israel, and the United States have used ISIS fighters on the front lines, on the side of Ukrainians to wage war against Russia. So when the United States, the Western world, comes out and says, ISIS did it, knowing that history, you would go, oh, motherfuckers, you're saying you're responsible for doing it because ISIS doesn't do shit without the first approval go-ahead of Mossad and the CIA, right? And ISIS still has a foothold in Syria where the United States is occupying one-third of Syria. Right, and the United States is supporting funding, training, providing logistics to the ISIS fighters in Syria. And Turkey still has a shit ton of fighters. Some estimations I saw 100,000 fighters in northern Syria. Right, so the Syria war is not over, it's sort of a stalemate right now. But that's just gonna blow sky high, right? It will blow sky high, right? So ISIS is just a proxy of the Western world, and when they come out and said 
ISIS was responsible. They're really coming out in my eyes. They're really coming out and saying, we did it, motherfuckers. Russia's coming out. Putin just came out and said, we know who did it, and you're going to pay a fucking heavy price. You guys decide. You guys decide where this goes. But uh, Ukraine is involved with ISIS. They have ISIS fighters there. Uh, Israel's involved with ISIS. CIA is involved with ISIS. Turkey is involved with ISIS. Uh, and one thing you should know about Russians, they never forget and they never forgive. <laughs>